Hello, my name is Sharia. This is the Sharia May channel where I am documenting my journey towards debt freedom in hopes to build wealth, retire early, or become work independent as a married woman paying debt alone. If you are new here, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back. If you're new and you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing to help me grow my channel and become monetized so that I can tackle this massive debt amount much sooner. It is free and I would love to have you. In today's video, we are uh, closing out my March Paycheck 2 budget. I will share a few updates with you guys and we are just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So, um, I want to first of all, excuse my absence. I have not uploaded. I think I missed about three uploads and that was because there was so much going on. I think I shared in my last video that I started working this new job. It is a full-time job. So at the moment I have two full-time jobs. Um, this one is, is uh, therapy remotely. As you, many of you know, I have mentioned a couple of times that I am a licensed clinical social worker. But my, well, this is a full-time job, but my other full-time job, I am a child, I'm a social worker in child protective services. So that job, I work seven days on, seven days off in the evening. This job, I work remotely from home, 40 hours a week, um, providing therapy and assessments or mental health services to the population who needs them. So I did not appropriately... Uh, prepare for that position and so I was very overwhelmed I you know I thought okay it's work from home it's very lax but there were a lot of other changes a set of my older kids went back to school my baby boy went on spring break it was just a lot and I just was not able to focus uh, YouTube took a back seat so I am back plus I had uploaded I think out of schedule and so um uh, what my routine um videos would have been I was out of schedule and I couldn't think of anything to come up with but so I just you know took a break so now that that is out of the way we will get into my um March paycheck to budget close out I did go in and type some of this in just because it looked so crazy when um I wrote it in and I did not like how messy it looked so um, we'll start with savings. Savings, I did actually increase my, well, we'll start with income. Income, I got the $14.89 from my full-time job, the $900, $10.99 pay from my part-time job, $456.21 from my other part-time job, and then I did get my stimulus payment in the amount of $2,800. That brought my income to a total of $5,646.03. As for savings, it was the routine savings up here, but I did save in an, an additional about one twenty five. dollars um, I took both of my savings accounts to the next $1,000, which was $110 for one and $106 for the other. No massive amount of savings um, because there were some things, some other things I was really trying to tackle. As for my fixed expenses, Wells Fargo home mortgage was the same five ten. That is the mortgage for our primary home. My kids' cell phone bill one forty six seventy five. Hulu was um, my bill, but now that my daughter is working and she is kind of reckless with her income, I did give her a bill so she could have a little bit of discipline. I'm not sure if it's effective, but so I did budget six forty one. But I did. I paid it, but she reimbursed me, so it was actually zero that I paid. Netflix is $19.20. Apple Storage is $9.99. Best Buys, the root is my one credit card that I have remaining. And I am just paying the minimum payment because it is not accruing any interest. But as it gets closer to the interest, if it is not already paid off, I will just knock it out. Fed loan, my Debt snowball payment is $550 at this moment. It will be going up to $570 because I, I did cancel my children's um, $10 Planet Fitness membership. 
but it did come out for this month, which is why Planet Fitness is $30 instead of $10 because they canceled after the 10th. And then Audible, which is $15.96. I do have one more credit. I'm getting ready to go ahead and pick my book and download it, but then I am canceling this. So this will also roll into my dead snowball. And then simple practice, I budgeted 40, 59, but it was actually 49. So that bought my budget, my fixed expense totals to $13.93.94. So then we will go in <clears throat> and look at the variable expenses. My daughter's eye appointment actually got canceled. And so nothing came out for the glasses. But then I did share that my son, William, has braces. And out of that stimulus payment, I paid six months worth of those braces. So now we're down to four months of brace braces payments left. And my husband should be paying those out of his taxes. And then Canva, I did. I had not budgeted for it. I do have the annual subscription and I must have missed the reminder. But that came out for $119.40, which brought my variable expenses to $1,169.40. Now, move this up. As for cash envelopes, whew, this is where it all went left. So, in addition to the stimulus payment, I did get the public school uh, food stamps. And so, that I was able to take the $100 that I had budgeted for groceries and put it... Actually, I gave it to my daughter for her to get groceries for her home. Then, um, gas, I was able to stay in my budget, you guys. You know, I shared my tactics for making sure I stay within my um, gas budget when I'm not at work. And I did that last weekend, and it worked. So, I did uh, put the last $35 that was left in my um, tank on Monday, and I get paid... I, no, I think it was Thursday, but I get paid on um, Wednesday and I have about a fourth of a tank left with two more working days. So hopefully it works out for me. Spend, I had not budgeted anything. I ended up spending $646.41. Most of that was on clothes, new work clothes for me, some summer clothes, spring and summer clothes for my baby boy, some clothes for my husband, some clothes for my, just clothes for all of my kids basically. Then offering, I did the 10% from my full-time paycheck, but then I also sold some seeds, one from my stimulus, and then a, you know, a few other small ones as he worked some things out in my life. For commissions, I did not budget anything, but I ended up giving each of my kids $100 from my stimulus payment, and then my baby boy $25. Beauty, I budgeted $60. I actually spent $55 and that was with a $10 tip. And then dining, I had not budgeted anything and I only spent, yes, only $83.78. So I'm a little proud of myself there because I could have been going crazy, but because I'm home most of the time. And like I said, I do notice my triggers are when I have to go to work. So the majority of this was spent just this past weekend because I was working. And so, and I was in the field and unprepared. So as for sinking funds, this was another thing that I regretted that I did not use my stimulus money wisely. I wish I would have stuffed my sinking funds, but I didn't. And I hate that I did that and I don't have anything left from it, but I'm not so upset that, you know, it's really stressing me out, but I wish I would have um, done something. I would have stuffed at least my sinking funds with some of my stimulus money so as for the monthly summary or the budget summary actually because it's not for the month um my income for this pay period was five thousand six hundred forty six dollars and three cent which i've already said savings was four hundred and twenty four dollars and twenty five cent which is a little disappointing because it's not even five ten percent of what my monthly in what my pay period income was Expenses ended up coming up to $2,530.30, and that is the combination of variable expenses and fixed expenses. Sinking funds, disappointingly, was only $401, and then my envelopes, which is also as disappointing, were $1,490.19, which left a balance of $800.29, and all of that went on debt. So, yeah, I'm not going to go into the exact amount I was able to pay on my student loans because I do do a student loan Saturdays, which I do. And that's where I reflect over my progress within the month on paying on my student loans. As for the changes that I would like to make, which is the this is the 
the majority of the reason why I do budget closeouts. Why do you do them? But I do them to see where I need to make improvements or changes. So the first thing is I am canceling Audible. I have had it since January. I do enjoy reading to reading the books, but I have been so busy and so go, 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 go that I have not taken the time to listen to the books. And I have so many books that I have downloaded that I probably could continue to listen to one book a month without paying for the subscription so i'm going to cancel that and that fifteen dollars and 96 cent will most likely roll over into my snowball for my student loans i'm going to add dining back to my budget i'm not sure on an amount because i do work from home now and i'm not sure if there's even the temptation to eat out so i don't know then I'm going to increase medical because of another change as far as employment. Uh, $10 is just not going to get it. It really should be $10 per person in my family, but I'm just not at that point. I may have to talk to my husband about his contribution. And then my daughter is going to prom May the 1st. We just were notified last weekend that um, the school is going to have a prom. And so I am going to start a sinking fund for that. It will be a bit much because we didn't we you know may 1st is like within a month and <laughs> we didn't have we're not prepared and so the amount that i have to say to make sure she is able to enjoy her prom you know it's going to be it, i'm thinking at least a hundred dollars um but she does work and she will be contributing to that as well so those are the changes I plan on making. I'm just going to try and figure those amounts out for the following um, budget pay period. The next one coming up, I do get paid on the 31st. And so a budget for that will be coming soon. And my pay stub should drop today. And then um, I will be doing student loan Saturdays to discuss my monthly progress on my student loans. And everything should return to normal after this week. So I do apologize for my absence this past, I think I missed about three, like I said, three uploads. And I apologize for my absence. I'm so thankful and grateful that I was still able to earn some subscribers, although I had not uploaded recently. So I appreciate all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. I hope that my journey is able to inspire you. If you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Click the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Please comment down below. Did you do a structured budget for your stimulus? I did not. Um, and I am regretting that now. And if you have not already gotten your stimulus, you know, maybe you can learn from my mistakes. If you did, thumbs up to you. I wish I had been as wise as you were. Um... And if you did budget and you want to share what you did with it, or if you have a video about how you budgeted um, your stimulus, link that down below if you are able or let me know like, hey, I have a budget on, I have a video on my channel. I will be sure to check those out. That is it for my March paycheck to budget close out. Again, please look out for my month um, debt snowball updates and my student loan Saturday updates. I am very excited about where I should land this with this update. And so I'm very excited to um, record that video for you guys. Thank you so very much for watching. And do remember that the debt-free journey is indeed a journey, not a destination. Bye.